Hello friends, welcome back to another Cookie Run Kingdom video. Uh, today we are doing some PvP. So in my last progress video, I was still just pushing silver, but um, actually I have been quite making quite some progress. I am now currently in crystal. Well, I was in crystal one, but I guess I lost quite a few. So I pushed all the way from silver through gold and I am now in the crystal tier of uh, the kingdom arena and today I will go over a few of the PvP things like the meta What are some things that are good? What are some things that aren't so good and just my general thoughts again? I am only in the middle crystal tier soon to be pushing into diamond uh, So take of that what you will if you're lower or if you're higher, maybe your expect expectations might be a bit different than what I'm talking about here, but this is just my experience uh, pushing through Kingdom Arena. So let's go over the cookies that I'm using in my lineup real quick. So my lineup currently consists of my highest level characters. So uh, that is currently Espresso Cookie, Milk Cookie, Dark Choco Cookie, Tiger Lily Cookie, and Herb Cookie. So the reason I use these five, other than the fact that the highest level is that uh, it gives me quite a good flexibility in terms of uh, uh, CC, so crowd control. What that means is like interrupting the enemy team's uh, attack or abilities, uh, defense, as well as doing damage. So this works for me. I think you can uh, swap it out. So my ideal team composition that I actually looked at from other people's team comp as well as like what other people are doing is actually replacing Tiger Lily with um, Licorice. So I currently don't even have Licorice unlocked, but I feel like Licorice is a bit, I, would, I, would, I don't want to say overpowered, but the minions that Licorice summons uh, can be super, super strong and just completely overwhelms the battle. Um, even if you're doing a lot of damage for now, Tiger Lily has been working fine because her stun as well as like just the, uh, extra HP that she gets uh, using her ability is a good buffer, kind of like a tank. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, espresso, just because uh, it's the featured cookie, so it's easiest to get the most amount of uh, copies of her. So I have her at four promotions, four star promotion, and that's like just stronger than everything else I have. So it uh, does the most damage. Uh, one thing that is really big in contention or like uh, kind of depends on what you want to do is the topping. So uh, skills, you can't really change it. Level up promotion depends on how much you get. But toppings is a really big thing about what you pick because uh, I recently changed over to a five cooldown setup. And before I was running crit or mix of attack and cooldown. And I found that it just wasn't uh, doing as much as cooldown. Uh, when you use the five cooldown set, so I only have three epic and two rare toppings for cooldown, you get the 5% cooldown for running all five. And so already here, if you just kind of uh, combine it, I'm already at 22% cooldown, as well as, um, which we'll get into later, the treasures for cooldown. So 22% uh, already, so almost a quarter of the cooldown. Uh, here you can get actually probably two abilities off there are the second uh, ability skill off before your enemy so I would say that's pretty good um, and then milk is just I would say generally the best uh, cookie for tanking for frontline is he is just like the best because the fact that he forces everyone to uh, target him and he does minus 50% damage it's pretty crazy you, like if you are looking at any of the um, top tier teams milk cookie is almost unavoidable I think uh, Madeline Madeline uh, is still good obviously uh, does more damage ra rather than um, the tanking part but if you don't have it uh, I would say Madeline's fine if you want to use any of their cookies by the way if you don't have any of these cookies and you just want to use a rare version of a tank that's completely okay or even the uh regular version i'm just saying if you want to push in kingdom arena this is one of the best uh dark choco is probably 
I've seen people rotate between dark choco or uh, using werewolf. Depends on which one you have higher. Um, I think either is fine. Dark choco is a slightly better, I would, in my opinion, because uh, the skill briefly interrupts the enemy cookies. And sometimes you catch them when they're casting their skill and just completely interrupts their skill. The defense is okay. I don't think that's like, it's 20%. It's pretty good. It's 20% flat. So pretty good. Uh, Tiger Lily, again, mostly for the stun. The instant she casts her skill, stuns the front line. Uh, pretty good. The extra health bar that you get, I found was more useful in uh, than the actual stun. So when she transforms, she gets this extra health bar that's uh, for her like mount, the tiger. And she just, she doesn't die when that health goes out. Instead, uh, she just kind of flies back to the back line so that extra bit of health can help a lot and otherwise if she doesn't get her ability off tiger lily is actually pretty squishy uh so i would say if she's not tanky enough to get her ability off uh don't run tiger lily herb by far so herb i would say run uh five attack so run all five attack toppings and definitely go for maximum attack because his heals are crazy like his heal does so much healing. It's just the best healing by far. If you don't, I've seen people just run Custard as the alternative to uh, Herb. So instead of healing, what uh, he does is create a barrier. So that barrier is really strong too. I don't think it's as good as Herb's healing because Herb's healing, it, when maximized with the five attack is off the chart. But if you don't have it, you don't have it. So Custard Cookie, you definitely have it from just playing the regular story. So use Custard if you don't have it. So moving on to the treasures for what I use, I am currently using the two epic treasures that I have, the Old Pilgrim Scroll, uh, just flat attack. is not as good. I would say the other two utility ones. So uh, Jelly Worm Sticky Goo for invulnerability and the Revive might be better. But again, I don't have it. So I'm just running with what I have. A flat 32% is pretty good, I would say. Uh, this one, the Pilgrim's Torch for um, creates a damage. I can't really tell. Like, I, th I think it does okay. I'm just using it. I'm just testing things out. Uh, before, I was using this uh, Grim Looking Scythe for crit percent. And it does do damage. But compared to this level 7 common squishy jelly watch where it's minus 18.4 percent cooldown so like i said with the espresso cookie where she already has 22 percent from toppings added onto this is almost 40 percent so i've had cases where if the kingdom arena match goes to almost the end of the timer uh, espresso can get three skill off so three ability off which is way faster than um if you don't run cooldown so so far i've found cooldown to be really really powerful compared to running damage and crit it does do damage don't get me wrong but for what i'm running i feel like cooldown is a lot better especially because you can level up this cooldown treasure a lot more so it's already level seven compared to level one or two or even level three for the scythe maybe if the scythe was like higher level and you have guaranteed crits maybe i don't know anyway so for the rest of the video, I'm going to just go through a few Kingdom Arenas and kind of showcase what my team... So I'm running the same uh, attackers and defense. So again, you don't really get to choose your front, middle, and rear. You just kind of put the cookies in and they're slotted into their positions based on what their role is. Um, running the same for attack and defense. I even run the same for PvE or the story mode. So I'm just going to attack um, the first person on the list. So they are using uh, Licorice. Again, Licorice at higher levels is really strong. I don't think Licorice at like an even or lower level is strong, but they're higher level than me in overall. So they're level 36, whereas I'm level 34, 32. That's because it's really hard to get the level up. Um, what do you call those? Jelly beans? Yeah, it's just really difficult to be honest, unless you're a big spender and just kind of buying out all the packages. So as you can see, uh, the first ability is almost always even, but the cooldown comes in a handy where by the time they are just recovering, I am already casting the second ability off and they aren't even close. I mean, 
like right there licorice got the second ability off but that's a full two seconds after my dark choco and my espresso got their ability off so by that point it just is too late so even if they're doing more damage on their basic attacks compared to getting another skill off another skill off is just way too much damage um so that's why i would think or based on this experience like running cooldown cooldown way stronger if you can run five cooldown uh, toppings like that is more powerful than running like crit and attack so yeah back to crystal one again the this is only the first season of kingdom arena so don't worry if you're not getting a high ranking because there's a big disparity like if you actually look at the ranking charts there is so this symbol means a uh, master one i think that's what it's called or top one percent whatever it is there is no top two percent it just falls off from top one percent straight to diamond one so there's a big disparity between you either get into the top one percent after you hit 2000 trophies or you're at 1800 trophies so literally the second you hit to 2000 trophies you're already in the top one percent um as for right here uh in my tier even in my tier so looking at my battles like the people that i'm battling there is a big disparity for i'm at 75k uh power and there are people that are at 50k power power doesn't mean everything by the way i've lost to people that have lower power but it's just like an indication kind of of what the levels are so you can kind of tell by the levels either they have not progressed enough in the story mode or they have not gotten enough resources so whether that be purchased or a save again i mean it's only been two weeks since the game started so it's kind of a given so someone like this has a lot more just by their level they're going to be a lot stronger than me i'm going to lose just based on like the raw health and stats that they have so i probably wouldn't fight them um oh yeah my battles got reset because i changed levels so i'm gonna fight someone here i think i should be able to be comfortably sitting in diamond again what starts happening as you get higher into the arena is that you start gaining a lot less trophies and it becomes a real grind like if you don't have a uh, kingdom arena tickets you're basically not um going up because even though uh, when you lose, I'm losing about one, maybe two trophies every loss, I am uh, gaining. I am gaining only about six trophies and six trophies is not a lot when you need 50, when you need 10 wins. So you need about 10 wins. And that person was uh, at my own rank. So I've heard on Discord and other places that they're only getting two or three. You almost get no trophies when you beat someone lower rank than you. So you have to beat uh, someone at your same Crystal 1, Crystal 2 maybe. But you have to start fighting people in uh, higher ranks in order to uh, go up. So I'm going to try to fight someone in the Diamond 3. Uh, they're at 70k power, uh, but they're actually lower level than me that I can see. So they are also running the cooldown. Uh, treasures so i can kind of assume that we're about even in the cooldown so this might be a even ish matchup but again i'm higher level so i'm gonna um see how this works or maybe the minions just completely overpower me i don't know um i can see that my herb got actually interrupted so maybe this won't go so well yeah i wasn't able to finish them by the second uh ability so here is where like a matchup kind of um shows you that even though i have higher power i'm gonna lose i'm gonna break down the damage charts right there so i did more damage with my espresso so i did more damage with my espresso but that doesn't mean that i'll win um licorice did okay damage but the damage of licorice doesn't really matter here what matters is the minions that she summons just kind of tank so much uh abilities obviously uh support from pomegranate is good but again lower damage isn't the problem here i think what happened was um this so my first ability from herb somehow got interrupted i didn't actually i need to look back to see what happened but herb got interrupted so 
he is doing less than a third, a third of uh, the enemy herbs power, or sorry, healing. So they might have, they're probably about the same, I would say. Uh, he has one less promotion, but one promotion doesn't really matter. It was the ability not going off that was the biggest differentiator. So being down almost, what, 10k power? Didn't really matter there. Um, abilities are important. So if there's any takeaway from this, uh, cooldown and getting skill off is a lot more important than uh, having attack and crit. Obviously, having attack on healer is really good because they heal so much, but not getting the heal off at all. So yeah, they're down 10k power, but it, oh, sorry, I'm down five, I'm up 5k power, but they're still going to win because uh, interrupting that herb ability was huge. I would say that was the biggest differentiator. So yeah, that's basically an overview, kind of short about the PvP meta and uh, what you can expect if you're trying to push past gold in the Kingdom Arena for this season. Um, again, biggest disparity, uh, spenders are always going to win. Don't worry about it if you're not spending and you're losing. Uh, you lose like one or two trophies anyway, so it's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. So hopefully you enjoy uh, some of this content. I'm going to start making more again. Last week, um, kind of lost track of making uh, videos and stuff. So yeah, like and subscribe if you want to see more content on Cooking Run Kingdom. I'll do a little bit of content on Cooking Run Oven Break, but I actually haven't been on that much. Uh, even with the new release, I wasn't too interested. So yeah, look forward to the next video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.